Hey guys, so I'm gonna talk about my balance between tankiness and damage heretic build as sequencer while doing Arisen Morrigan. So as you can see, it's pretty much a balance between damage and tankiness where I go Balder, Hood and Boots for the ward and the extra HP and I go Fayetti coat for the because pretty much it's my best top right now that heretic can use until I'm finished upgrading my newest top and I do the staff of chimera for the berserk one buff and I'm going to be using smelly mushroom and normal berserk mushroom so this is how I buff up so I'll do that I'll do Mimic's Mischief, so if I get a double down, I can follow it up with the Smelly Mushroom. And then after the Smelly Mushroom, I do the Panacea. And by this point, I'm pretty much halfway buffed. I'm going to put in some defensive buffs because I do want to survive. But I find that the defensive buffs aren't that necessary unless you're planning to do the entire run as in 100% her. So usually I don't use Worm Song. I don't know why I just used it there. But yeah, because I just used the Eggnog. And then I just start Ultimine. I can't use Fey Inferno here because that's just too much turns, one, too many turns, and then two, if I get burned, I take even more damage than I am already taking as you're seeing here. And pretty much I just spam Ultima, I just spam Ultima right through, I don't even look at the screen anymore. I'm most mostly watching something or doing something else and just spam clicking ultima and hoping for the best hoping lugas po uh, pops up in the right damage thing because you know how it goes you need magic it's popping up as physical so you just spam click and hope fingers crossed really nothing else you can do and hope for a good time. So I'm at 7 mil so far. Which is decent if I could get a few more crits. I'll stop at halfway in. Just to see how quickly. But for halfway. Usually I won't do the golems. Especially not barrier 2. For just 50%. But I'm, I'm thinking that I should just stop at 50 well, then again, I could try to 100% it. Maybe at that point, <laughs> the Lugos would pop up. And here I'll use a Super Elixir because you're going to see that you need HP sometimes and you just don't want to be using the turn to actually get HP. So it helps sometimes, but other times you'll heal. And I do have in one ashen ruby in my weapon to give me that additional heal chance because heretic heals a lot but sometimes it just doesn't i don't know what's going on sometimes but sometimes it just doesn't heal Yeah, this one feels slower because i haven't really been critting or dual casting based on what I've seen. I only need one million more damage, so... Not the worst either, but still not the best. And then I'll just pop that in. And... Yeah, it's pretty much similar to the last run in damage. But this time, yeah, that was what happened the last time too. I tried to take the extra turn to get a little bit more damage. But it, it, it just, uh, I don't know why I screenshot that because I'm videoing. But 
it just didn't hit and I'm just like all right then if I take another turn it's gonna turn into another minute so I just decided to jump out but this one is four minutes so pretty close if I got in a few if I got in even one dual cast um is it dual cast yes dual cast crit then it would have been a lot faster and then i even tried to take that extra turn so it might have been faster if i didn't if i just left but i did want the additional damage but yeah that's the build and that's the damage and yeah i'm gonna try one without the smelly mushroom because obviously people aren't trying to do smelly mushrooms each time because even i'm running out of smelly mushrooms so I'm going to try one with just the Berserk Mushroom. I wish I had some mana. I should have just used... Oh no, never mind. That's what I'm not using. And I will try now too without the defensive buffs. Because even with Smelly Mushrooms, you do... You do need... You don't need the golems with smelly mushrooms in my opinion because you're so tanky and i'm just using uh, a bunch of buffs that i do not need to use and i'm not using the ones that i do need to use yay that's that's good and i got the berserk buff so early in this one wow i almost am tempted to use a berserk um a smelly mushroom now to see if i could get some damage in but yeah I'll just do the version of what I said I would and see if it will work out to be as fast if I don't defensively buff at all. So, because just you taking that extra turn to buff and giving her an extra turn to do stuff, it's, it's not the best. Alright, so I'm doing really badly, like extremely badly so far so we're gonna have to hope that things get better but it's like that like and the redemption a part of the music starts playing too it's like that like you'll be doing shit damage throughout the dun um throughout the raid and then you randomly get the dual cast crit and then you're like oh yes it was all worth it oh yes oh feed me but it's obviously not going to be as fast as the smelly mushroom version because that gives a massive buff i think i have to double check and I, I didn't even proc lugas once in that previous run so the possibilities are really endless but lugas is not to be depended on it's just like that little bonus that you get sometimes and then for for times like this now when i'm low on hp because without the smelly mushroom, you're going to be taking a lot more damage. Plus, I didn't defensive buff. So you just put in a few transferences. And the dual cast, you never transference when you have up your Lugos, by the way. If you die, you die. But you have to risk it. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh, Mori, you are something else. But if I die, I die. I'm going to delete this video. but yeah like i'm a damage junkie so i just want to see more so as i increase ascension levels i'll be using more damage items rather than defensive stuff but it just depends on what type of mood i'm in and we have been in this one for so long it feels like anyway so without the smelly mushroom it's a lot slower so i would say that is unsustainable because most persons aren't going to throw that in and then snotra is is snotra makes it it's just too hard with snotra uh please come on hp heal okay never mind um let me see how much damage i did i did 14 million in the four minutes which not bad not bad so i would say you can definitely do it without the smelly mushrooms and you can get similar damage thank you baby Ooh, food okay guys i'm 
I hope you guys learned something or enjoyed watching or something. But yeah, so if you have any other questions, I can run through other loadouts. I've been trying to get a good Katvanga. I thought I had a good one, but I can't find it. So yeah. <laughs>